Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Always Right channel. Hello, hello, and this is Mrs. Right herself. So I'm just going to talk about life. We all need a little reminder of how God needs us to press on, even though the highest of fires, mocking hatred and yes shaming not of this are from our heavenly father none of this from is, is from our heavenly father so mind you rather the enemy of our soul and those he chooses to be a lot stone throwers among the crowd of every camp and faith community all the communities really but we must keep on moving forward with faith in the purpose and the plan of God God has given to us equally equally we have we must have to take steps of faith even though they might seem very small to us as a hunter, you have to learn that moving a target is much harder to hit than a steel one. So the moving target is much harder to hit than the steel one. So, like, you know, let me take that as an example. Like when hunters are trying to shoot something, the one that is moving is hard to shoot. So the one that is still is easy to shoot. So if you are moving, keep moving. Anything that is thrown on you will not reach you. You have either you move in a different direction and the thing will be going in a different different direction. So so by the time we keep go, go moving, we will not be harmed. So let's not quit the trip at this junction when we might be further ahead than we realize so let's whatever and whatever say whatever let them throw whatever so let them say whatever let them do whatever let them throw whatever on us it will not reach us and um, they can throw an insulting stone on us and that stone you can pick it up and build a mansion and build a place of joy and take it those stones to be a stepping stone for you in your life so and also in that stone you can use it to build a mighty testimony an empire of God's truth truth and also all other things that glorify and edify the Almighty you will build it in that stone you will build joy in the stones that people trust throw on you you will build grace in the stone that people throw on you you will build grace and peace in that insult stones people tread throw on you not hatred or retaliation you can never show hatred or retaliation much you have to be much more positive and let's build in rejoicing and also smiles and victory so that stone can be very adequate for everything the stones of hatred can turn into the stone of peace and love so let us not let all the stones that is thrown on us just fall off we pick it up and build something on it and also you have the hope in God our sovereign God as you have gain courage resilience and strength you need yes you are watching from anywhere in this world you have to be strong no matter where you are do not let the the talk or the the thing that comes from the mouth of an enemy to make you feel uncomfortable you stand up for yourself and stand up for your right and also speak out for this people that don't have voice and also you will also have peace in mind 
when you rely on God's words, when you have trust in God. Nobody can make you feel unworthy and uncomfortable. And also have a peaceful evening and also remain blessed and God bless everybody. And thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to Mrs. Always Right channel and bye. Bye bye. Hello everybody and welcome back to Mrs. Always Right channel. Hello, hello, welcome back. So I'm in my chambers now doing my talking. So I decided to stay in this side of the room today because absolutely I was totally knackered and tired. So topic today again is let go, let go, let it go, let it go. So you can now know why people sing that song. Let it go. So it's time to get over the regrets of your past, our past. And also there, there comes a time that we have to go to let go. The victim mentality and have mentality of being victorious. Don't always play the victim. It's not a very good thing to do. You can you can have a choice to play a fiddle with the same tune regarding your past or you don't make the choice to. So you have to let it go. So the question today is have you let it go? Remember peace and bitterness are mutual exclusive so if you are stuck in the quicksand of regret it's time to plan your escape how can you do so how can you do so by accepting the past and move forward you cannot change the past but you can let go and learn from your past and make changes for your future. The world holds a few, if any, rewards for those who remain angrily focus on the injustice of yesterday. So that is one thing. Anything that has passed away, just let it go because sometimes you just have to look behind your and just have to see how far you've gone but not getting stuck in the past it is not a safe place to be future is the safe place to be and it's the happiest place to be so it's time to stop blaming the who and what was still act see the act of forgiveness is difficult for all However, it is freeing and let go. Being frail, fallible, imperfect human beings, most of us are quick to hunger, quick to blame, slow to accept our own fault as well. So just as we too have been forgiven, know that you can continue to remain bitter and blame others or choose to let go and stop the Firming yourself to the past. Stop defining yourself to the past. You can either ride the train of seeking pity or travel on a victor victorious road that brings freedom. So that is how it is. So we cannot just put our past the behind us but we have to realize it to be free give it to god being angry bitter and stressful is not getting you anywhere aren't you tired of being stuck in the miry clay know that you have to move on and always seek help from God because it's God of compassion 
God of peace, God of love, and is always ready for us to accept us and give us a new life. So, by the way, how is everybody enjoying this weather? So, in UK, you can never trust three W's. Three W's in UK, weather, women, and work. Those are the things that we have to be careful of in UK. And also, don't forget to let it go. Let it go. So, when you trust in God and you know the answer, so there's nothing you can hold on to. The past again, it will all disappear and you'll be having a wonderful future. And thank you for watching. God bless you. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also, I'm using this opportunity to show appreciation and a thankful heart to all my viewers, my subscribers, anybody that is watching this program my channel. God bless you all and bye. Bye bye.